Welcome back, everybody. Uh, been a little while, but this is a hard song, of course. It took me some time. Well, that's just an excuse. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny. I'm, I've said this before, but if anybody hasn't heard that or if anybody's new, Merlin is the second instrument I play, right? My first is always in the guitar, so. It's really, I pick up the Merlin when I kind of get bored of the guitar. So I don't pick up the Merlin as often as I probably should. I'm just noticing a water stain on the roof. I don't know if I've noticed that before. But yeah, so anyway, so I don't always play the Merlin. So I, it's always going to be spotty. I'm never going to have a set schedule to this channel. It just won't work. Okay. So, St. Anne's Real. And this is, I'm not going to lie, I stole it. Uh, the cello guy. I can't, I'm horrible with names. Cello guy. I'll link him in, uh, in the description. I'll link his video. He did this a couple years ago. And I just sat down one day, I was watching his video, <clears throat> writing it all out, what he did. And I, I changed a few things. Not much, just a, a few things to make it easier to play. Uh, and then I didn't bother learning the melody behind it, the chords, because I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, this, I'm, I'm, this, I'm using a set of jam, right? So I don't need to learn the melody. <laughs> but he has it in his video, so if you want, you after you watch the whole thing, give me a thumbs up and uh, thumbs down, whatever you want. Then you can go watch this video. <coughs> okay. So... I'm kind of torn what I want to do right now. Do I want to do a drawn out one? Or do I just want to do it slow and then put the tab out? And let's let's go a little extra detail in this one. Let's see how that works. I'll change the camera a little bit. I still haven't fixed my tripod. Everything's stuck. Pain in the ass here. No. Bear with me. There we go. How's that? A little higher. It's gonna be nice if I played like that, then it'll be easy with the camera. Okay. We're not too washed out, no. Alright, so basically stuff like this and songs like this. There's patterns. You always want to find the patterns. Because once you find the patterns, you can break it down to different... There's a lot of there's a lot of repeats, right? So the idea between behind these fiddle tunes, these reels, is you got part one, part two. So you pay, play part one twice, you play part two twice, right? So now part one and part two are going to be completely, usually completely different. Now, part one... It's going to have two lines to it. Part two is going to have two lines to it. Now, when you break it down to that, line one and line two are going to be very similar. It's usually just the ending that's changed. And that's this is a prime example. So if we break it down, so part one, part two, okay? Now, part one, we break down to four parts. One, two, three, four. Part one, part three are going to be the same. And then... Part two and part four are going to be the endings that have changed. And the same goes for, even more so, for part two. It's even, it's even more the same. So, okay. So, part one, part one. How can I say that? That makes sense. Part one, part two. Why can't I think of a different word for part? Uh... I know. Part one, part one. I'll figure out something better to say when I'm playing. All right. So that's part one of part one. Part two. Now part three is the same as part one. Now part four. That one I always do.
So part one and part three are the same, which is going to be... That's it. Now part three is the same as part one. Now part four is the hardest of it all. So you're basically doing a walk up, but as you're walking up, you're stepping down. So you walk up, step down, walk up, step down, walk. It's like two steps up, one step back. So actually, that makes sense to me. I don't know if that was in frame. Put it all together, part one. Part two. Part three. Part four. I'm not going to talk this one, I'm just going to go all the way through it really slow. So that's the whole beginning part. Now, second part is going to be, okay, part one of second. See, now part one and part two, or no, part one and part three exactly the same. Part two. exact same as part one part two sorry except the last four notes so you walk it down all right so let's break this down more so part one and part three so we break it into three note sections right so first three notes four three two next three notes well there's a there's a double note in there so it's gonna be four notes but play it as as three so it's four three two the first two notes and then it does this twice oh, zero two four four next three notes is three two three so So that's part one and part two, three of section two. Uh, part two. So part two and and part four both have the same rundown. So we're going three, two, one, open, second string, 
two, one, open, and then back up, one, two, one, on your high string. And then you go up to the five, four, three. And then you do part three, which is the same as part one. Now part four, same rundown and So you, you go up to the one like before and then hit the one again and then two opens. So all together. The hardest part of these things aren't the notes, it's the timing. Because the timing is what took me a second. And all these fiddle tunes, uh, Turkey and Straw I did, uh, was, it came down to timing as well. Uh, whiskey and Breakfast before for breakfast. I'm still working on on the Merlin, but on guitar, that was probably the hardest one. Just to get the timings right on that thing. So that's what takes time on this stuff. Once you learn the notes, it's just a matter of getting the timing right to it, right? So let's do section two all the way through nice and slow. So let's uh, do it like it's supposed to be. So you do part one, section one, see section one, part one, part two, three, four. So that's section one, section two. So two sections to the reel, okay? So like I said, the way to play it, you wanna do section one twice and then you do section two twice. So we're gonna do it that way, I, like I did in the beginning. In the beginning I did it fast, but. So this plays through, and we'll do it proper. Section one, section one, section two, section two. But we'll do all the way through nice and slow. That way you can use it as a, a backing track to what you're doing. All right. through I did it at the beginning there so you have that there so just go back to that uh, what else I got coming uh, not much uh, this kind of got me going again it's the same thing that happened when I did turkey and a straw I want to get more into into these fiddle tunes on the Merlin because they are so good there's 
They, the mer just so so good to work on them, right? And then if you already learned turkey in a straw, these you can go back and forth. That's what I've been doing. Like it was, it's kind of how I used it to train to the to this song because I get to I got this song to a okay part, okay level on last last Wednesday I started. But what I would because for me I I have to I, I play it like. Five times, and then I put the Merlin down, come back an hour later. That's how I get it in my head, right? I keep coming back to it throughout the day. But once I get it to a certain level, then I start switching back and forth between uh, St. Anne's Reel and Turkey in a Straw. Just to get it further ingrained in my head. Like, I go back and forth between the two. And so when I come back to St. Anne's Reel, like... I had to get my head back to it. It just helped me memorize it faster is really what I'm saying. All right, that's it. Uh, practice patience, have fun. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.